the congregation shivered in the cold. Notre Dame echoed with the sounds of 400 musicians and singers. The young man born on the island of Corsica moved impatiently forward. Napoleon Bonaparte, 35 years old, was about to be crowned Emperor of France. I found the crown of France in the gutter, he said, and I picked it up. It was December 2nd, 1804. Within three years, Napoleon's conquests would extend his empire across almost all of Europe, and he would rule over 70 million people. Not since the ancient Caesars had one man held so much power. Napoleon changed the world. Here is a man who rises, not on the basis of his blood, not on the basis of his background, but on the basis of his ability. No one else has appeared like him, has dominated the world like he has. What is Napoleon? It's a hand and a shirt. It's a strange hat. If you show the hat, if you show the hand and the shirt, in Japan, the United States, or France, everybody will say, Napoleon. Napoleon. He was above all ambitious. He loved power. He said, I love power, like a musician loves his music. Napoleon mounted the steps to the altar alone. Seizing the crown in his own hands, he held it aloft. Then brought it to rest on his own head. That morning, he had quietly told his brother, if only our father could see us now. <laughs>